Mañana y feliz año nuevo. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bear, a church you can call home where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Bendidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our, our visitors, and all of you joining us by audio or video. Amen. Amen. God wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. He wants to correct us. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Listen to this. Leave here a new you. Don't leave the same as you did before. Amen. Amen. Take the word of God and use it. Yes. And be a new person, yes. a new creature yes. in Christ. Amen. Yes. The Lord's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. Uh-huh. Uh, be available, make yourself available, available, and the bottom of the word says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, amen? Yeah. So yeah. praise God, thank you, Lord, and we're going to be talking about serving Him. Child of God, believer, <laughs> what do you do? Serve Him, and we're going to serve Him with, we're going to serve Him with this new year with passion, amen? Yeah. So serve Him with passion this new year, that's the name of it. The title of the, of the uh, message serve him with passion this new year so praise god happy new year prepare yourselves to receive yes. and let's uh grab our bibles grab our sword soldier god and, and let's make this declaration together yeah. amen yes this is my bible i am what it says i am i have what it says i have i can do what it says i can do today i'll be taught the word of god i boldly confess my mind is alert my spirit is receptive and i'll never be the same in jesus name i i i it's me amen personalize that so it's about me it's about you so let's get it right praise god so serving with passion here we go Happy New Year, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, what? Well, trust in the Lord with some all of your heart. Your heart. Oh, oh, oh. You got a glare there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Yeah. Get yourself out of the way. Dethrone yes. yourself. Put him on the throne. Yes. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Amen. You want to follow a straight path? Follow him. Amen. Amen. And this is a good day to start. Amen. Amen. First day Amen. of a new year. To start yes. to serving Him and going Amen. the right way. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> There's a lot of freeways out there, and there's a lot of ways to go. Uh -huh. But you know, go God's way. Amen. Amen. He's got a, He's got He's got a um, a way for you. He's got a yes. uh, a call for you. Amen. That's it. So listen to this. I watched some great college games yesterday, oh, and they were celebrating, and they was having fun, and they were <laughs> jumping up and down and cheering. So listen, opening this new year uh -huh. with a bang yes, opening amen. this new year with excitement enthusiasm uh -huh. joy rejoicing gladness well you don't know about what's coming against me well uh -huh. use the word of god amen. you know and use the word of god to come against these things and attack these things amen mm -hmm. when you use the word of god you're using authority yes. amen. when you use authority you're using the word of truth and the truth yes. is going to set you free yes. amen says submit yourself to God resist the devil he'll flee from you amen. so get the word of God going in your life amen, amen. it means you got to get it in you but you yeah. have to speak it out That's amen it. the spoken That's word it. amen yes. praise yes. God there's a lot of you know people say I'm late and All supposedly right. of the big party they have in uh, New York you know they <laughs> think come down you know and they're rejoicing and having a new thing well, you know, as believers, we should be the happiest people. I keep saying that. You need to write that down. As believers, as a child of God, we should be the happiest people Amen. in this world. You know, the closer we get to His return, the happier we should be. Amen. Amen. We don't focus on the negative things. We don't magnify the problems. We magnify our God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Daily. Every day. Yeah. Amen. So, excitement, enthusiasm, joy, uh, rejoicing, and gladness. This, this is the day. This is the first of the year, the new year God has given us. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. It is your passion level for the new year. Yes. High or low, fervent or mediocre. High or low, the choice is yours. You know, Amen. stay in the word. And you know what? It's going to stay up. Yes. Amen. Still, he's going to be your God in the mountain. He's going to be God in the valleys because yeah. we're going to have some valleys, you know. Oh, yes. But still. Worship Him. Honor Him. Amen. Oh, Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Fervent means passion. Blazing. Flaming. Ooh. Glowing. Red hot. Wow. Muy, muy, muy <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Let your light shine, you know. Yeah. Let your light shine in this dark world. And this world is dark. Mm -hmm. This world is negative. Yes. So stay positive. How do I stay yes. positive? 
Get in the word. Yeah. Get the word of God in you, and you're going to stay positive. Amen. You're going to glow for for God. Amen. You glow and go for God. God wants us to love, and to follow, and to serve Him with passion. Yeah. Not mediocre. He says, not lukewarm. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> not lukewarm. He says, I'll spit you out. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And one of them says spew. One says spit. One says vomit. Either way, I don't want none of them for me. Yeah. <laughs> the purpose this morning is to take a new and fresh look at giving it all to Jesus. Yeah. It's called surrender. Totally surrender. Totally committing. Totally giving yourself to Him. Yes. Amen. Not only the first of the year, this new year, but on a daily basis. You know, let Him be your God on a daily basis. Let him stay on the throne. Yeah. And then let him be your main number one priority yeah. every every day. Not just once in a while, you know. <laughs> and let go and let God. Yes. We want to walk the walk and talk the talk. And we want to watch our words. And we want to watch our actions. Because yeah. people are watching. Most important is God is with you. Yeah. And he's watching. He's listening. So we can hide it from people. We can't hide it from him. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to be pretenders. Yeah. We don't want to pretend, you know, that's a big thing, you know. I say, well, I come to church and I pretend. The enemy knows. Amen. And he's full time. And, yeah. he's, and he's going to follow you. And you're opening doors for him mm -hmm. to follow you and be there. So close those doors. Amen. Start of the year. Let's open our Bibles to uh, Mark 12 uh, and verse uh, 30. That'd be our first scripture. Oh, I, have, I have another scripture, but uh, let's start right there. Amen. Mark 30, Mark 12. Mark 12 and verse 30. Are you there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you had a head start. Oh, I got a head Mark start. 12. Okay. Uh, book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 30. New King James. Well, I'm going to read it from the King James here. It says, And thou shalt know what? The Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Yes. And we'll find out commandment is not just a suggestion. Yes, commandment is, yes. it, well, if you feel like it, it's a command yes. from God, and he's our commander-in-chief. You know, he's our, our, our top general, and we obey him, amen. When you obey him, things go well. When, th when you don't obey him, disobey Things don't go so well. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's remember that. The uh, New King James says, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Amen. Romans 12, 1, uh, 12, 11 says this, Not nagging in, in, in diligence, not lagging in diligence, fervent in, in uh, spirit, mm -hmm. serving the Lord. Amen. And the New Living Translation says, in Romans 12, chapter 11, I'm excuse me, chapter 12, verse 11, says, Never be lazy, but work hard and serve and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Yes. Amen. With joy. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're serving Him. Yeah. And we got other scriptures we're going to be talking about. We need to write these down, you know, so yes. we can know to serve Him passionately, to serve Him excitedly and with enthusiasm. So get rid of uh, passion killers. Somewhere oh, yeah. in there, Carmen, just keep going and you'll find him. Keep going, we'll come back to that. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're, you'll find him. Keep going. There you go. Beware. Oh, geez. So let's get rid of passion killers. Because okay. there's a lot of passion killers out there. Yeah. Your dreams, your missions, your motivation, motiv motivation time. Uh, Vision killers. Beware of these killers in 2000, in 2023. Yes. Your dreams, your passion, your mission, your motivation, your time, your vision, your goals. Yeah. You know, don't let an un un unenthused person give you advice on your dreams. Right. <laughs> Amen. So get rid of passion killers. Uh -huh. Things that rob us of our joy. Yes. Let it go. Things that stop us from fulfilling our daily mission for God. Amen? Amen. We must learn to refire. We must learn to stir up our passion for God. Stir it up. He says, you stir it up. Nobody's going to do it for you. You stir it up. 
Amen. Amen. And we can do it. We can do it. Because he says we can do all things through Christ. Well, you don't know how I feel. Well, let's not go by feelings. Let's go by what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get the word in you. So you're walking in the word and speaking the word. Amen. We must never retire. or re We must refire and uh, stir up in the things yes, of God. Amen. amen. Christians don't retire. They refire. They stir up. Some of us need a daily dose a reminder. Yes. We need to must remind ourselves. You know, when we spend time with him on a daily basis, mm -hmm. we remind ourselves he's first, and I need to refire myself. I need to stir myself up, Amen, to renew my mind in the things of God. Mm -hmm. You know, renewing your mind is not a daily thing; it's an often thing. No, oh, yeah. It's often that's needed. That's it. Because you're gonna do it more than once a day. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Amen. Because the enemy, the mind, the battlefield of the mind is busy going all the time. Oh, and you're yeah. going to think negative things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, you may fall into those things. So be careful. Be careful. Be careful to renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. People, you retire from jobs, but never from following and committing ourselves to serving God. Mm -hmm. Amen. As a child of God, yeah. we until He calls us home, we're going to continue to serve Him, and yeah. even when we're there, we're going to serve Him. Yes. Amen. So we don't want to retire. Say, well, I used to be a Christian, now I'm retired. Wow. So, so, what, <laughs> so what are you doing now? <laughs> if you're not serving Him, you're serving the world. Yeah. You're serving yourself. You're serving yourself. You know, and uh, that's not a good thing. Wow. Amen. Because no. you're going to fall easy. Amen. You know, man, so the enemy it. is a spiritual battle on the daily basis. And if he's not in the word of God, mm -hmm. you're going to fall. Mm -hmm. Because physically, <clears throat> you're no match to a full-time devil. Amen. Amen. So you, we, need, we need to remember this. Mm -hmm. But some of us no do, and we act that way. We must stop playing church. <laughs> I, I, I spoke this to uh, the church family earlier, but the government says you can't assemble yourselves anymore mm -hmm. because of COVID. So we divide ourselves. So we separate ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we can't meet. And still, some people have never come back to the, right. the church yeah. and assemble themselves together. Mm -hmm. They have more fear in obeying what the government says instead of what the word of God says. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You got to stop playing church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> because of COVID, many of us are still staying away. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll watch it through the TV. <laughs> but that's good that you watch through the TV. And it's good for you to learn the word of God. But still, when you need uh, when you need a pastor, when you need a church family with you yes. and to be there for you, they ain't gonna be there. That's exactly yeah. right. Amen. Amen. They ain't coming. <clears throat> Enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. This is the one thing that starts believers mm -hmm. from assembling ourselves together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because they said not to do this. And you can't be closer than six feet apart or whatever. All these things they gave us. Yeah. So you can't witness to somebody. Right. <laughs> so you can't meet mm -hmm. and assemble yourselves together mm -hmm. and, 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 and and encourage one another mm -hmm. with the word of God. Mm -hmm. See, and some people are still using this. And we're talking about believers. Yeah. Yeah. Believers should know better. Amen. <laughs> Stop mm -hmm. using excuses. We work all week mm -hmm. and rest on weekends. So you yeah. know what? I have no time for church. Oh, come on now. We ain't never too sick to go to work. But we're sick and tired to go to church. Hey, come on now. All right. All right. <laughs> you don't throw no rocks at Pastor. <laughs> we must listen. Remember this. Jesus was never too sick, never too tired to go and sacrifice. Be allowed to be sacrificed. Yes. Yeah. He made no excuses to go to the cross and be yeah. sacrificed, be crucified. He made no excuses. Amen. Amen. He was our greatest example. We yes. must do the same thing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. We we're, we're to be controlled and go by the word of God, not our flesh. That's it. You know. Come on. Right. 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 <laughs> Stop using him like we do a spare tire. Oh. Only remember him on emergency cases. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's time to dig him out, you know, when it's emergency time. No, we we don't treat him that way. Exactly. We, we we treat him with love and we treat him with passion and we put him first on our priority list. Amen. 
Mark uh, 12, chapter 12, verses 20, uh, 30 and 31 says this. And easy to read. I'm going to read it to you in an easy to read version. Jesus says the most important command is this. People of Israel, listen. Mm -hmm. The Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Yes. Second most important command is this. Mm -hmm. Love your neighbor as yourself, as you love you yourself. Mm -hmm. These two commands are most important. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Praise God. I know I'm going to get a little ahead of myself, but still, you have no other gods before Him. That's it. Amen. And the Bible says, uh, John 14, 6 says, He says, Jesus says, I am the way, yes. the truth, the life. There's no other way to the Father except through me. Amen. So I don't care who you're worshiping, who you're serving, or what God you have. Mm -hmm. If it ain't Jesus Christ, Amen. That's, that's not what the Word Ooh, says. Lord. Yeah. So you need Jesus in your heart. Amen. Amen. And receive Him in your heart. And receive Him. This is the time, New Year, for you to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. You've been coming my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And He will. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. A command. <laughs> Here's a definition. An order given with authority to direct with authority an act of commanding. The general who commands an army can give these orders. Yeah. Jesus is our general. He's yeah. our commander-in-chief. He gives these orders. We must obey. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must obey. That's it. We're to obey what the Word of God says. Yeah. If you're not obeying what the Word of God says, you're against. Yeah. Right? Right. And you're opening the door for the enemy. Command is not a suggestion. If you feel like it, if you want it, your choice to obey or disobey. Mm -hmm. They obey, you'll receive the blessings. Yeah. Disobey, and you'll suffer the consequences. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, I don't know why these things always happen to me. My, I must have bad luck. <laughs> well, I guess so. That's what you're confessing. <laughs> yes. Amen. Uh -huh. Church is a healing place for all. Yes, Spirit, soul, yes. and you're mentally... That's your mind, your will, and your emotions. And body, which is physically. Yes. Flesh. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. I'm excited. I don't know about you. And we may not go through all this. Okay. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll just bring it on next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. James 5, 16, and 18, NIV says this. Therefore, confess your sins to each other. And pray for each other so that you may be healed. Yes. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Yes. Elijah was a human being, uh -huh. even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And guess what? It didn't rain. And that land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed and said, and the heavens gave rain. And the earth produced its crops. We must grow and go for God in unity Amen. with passion, with excitement, with enthusiasm, with joy, rejoicing, and being glad. Yes. You know, when people see that, they want. They want. Yes. Amen. And they're not, not, they're not giving it up because they're not willing to give up the world. Right. Amen. But if they want the happiness, the joy that you have, mm -hmm. they'll give it up in the heartbeat. They'll uh -huh. say, I want what you got. Yeah. What is it you've got? Well, Jesus mm -hmm. is my Lord and Savior. Amen. Church is a healing place where we all meet at. And yes. don't leave here like you came. It. Give it all to Him. You know? Sunday after Sunday, day after day, and we still carry in the cares, the worries, the curse, the mm -hmm. hurts, and the jealousies. We we must give it to him. Take it to the garbage dump and leave it there. Amen. Yeah. Take it to the cross and leave yeah. it at the cross. Amen. He says if he's forgiven you and forgotten about it, why are you still worrying about it? Why are you still holding on to it? Give it to him and leave it there. Amen. And don't let that mind, don't let the enemy or people hold it against you and right. bring it back to you and say he didn't forgive you. That's not what the word of God says. He You're says right. he will. If he will, then don't listen to that no more. Just get rid of it. Mm -hmm. It's a new year. It's a new day. So it's time to Amen. leave it in the past. Amen. Glory. Yeah. Insane. Insane. We're doing the same thing and carrying the same hurt over and over, day after day and year after year, mm -hmm. and expecting different results. Yeah. You know, it's just like a little hamster on a on a wheel. <laughs> Man, yeah. he's going 100 yeah. miles an hour, you know, but still in the same place. In the yeah. same place. Same Thank place. you. <laughs> he's still in the same place. We must not do this. Amen. We're going to do what the word of God says. Amen. Amen. Obey his commands. Confess. Release it. And be healed. Do not accept the devil's lies. And hold you back no more. Amen. Change and press on for Amen. God. 
Amen. Press and, and press on. Yes. Press on with Him and go with Him. Amen. Man, I'm excited. I'm about you. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> 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 I got some scriptures I want to read to you here. Luke 9, 23 through 26. Easy to read, person. We will understand this. Jesus continued to say to all of them, any of you who want to be my followers must stop thinking about yourselves and what you want. Are we listening? Yeah. Yeah. You must be willing to carry the cross that is given to you every day mm -hmm. to follow me. Yeah. 24 says, any of you who try to save your life or save the life you have will lose it, but you will you will give it up, give up your lives. Mm -hmm. For me, will will save it. Yes. Yeah. Twenty five. It is worth nothing for you to have the whole world if you yourself are destroyed or lost. That's it. Twenty six. Do not be ashamed of me and my teachings. If that happens, I will be ashamed of you when I come mm -hmm. with my divine greatness and that of the Father and the holy angels. Yeah. So we must not be ashamed. Yeah. They're not ashamed to share with you. And speak negative things in front of you. That's right. So don't be That's ashamed right. of him and pretend <laughs> you're only a Sunday Christian. Mm. Oh, no. But an everyday Christian. Mm. Amen. Praise God. Amen. <clears throat> he will not accept us as half hearted service. Being jealous of God means he wants. All of us. All of us. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants <laughs> our all. Yes. He wants us completely committed, yes. totally surrendered to Him, basically sold out to Him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The new year. Let's start off mm -hmm. totally sold out yeah, to Him. Yeah. Not just halfway, yes, but yeah. totally sold out to Him. Yeah. Totally surrendered. To. He wants our unwaveringly loyalty. He wants us to be He wants to be the first in our lives. Yeah. Matthew 6 33. Seek Him first. Yeah. And he's, he'll be there for you. Amen. So praise God. He uh, he desires to be at the top of our priority list every day. Every yeah. new day. Every new year. Yes. Yeah. He wants yeah. to be on our top of our priority list. Yeah. And we all have priorities. He oh, wants yeah. us to hunger no more. He wants us to hunger for more of him. Yeah. Amen. And that means we have relationship. And that's what Christianity is all about. Amen. It's having relationship with your heavenly father. Mm -hmm. He knows you, but we must know who He is. Amen. We must know Him. Amen? That's not the problem. The problem is not Him. The problem is with us. Yeah. Yes. Amen? So we need to fix that. And yeah. we can fix it, but we need to spend time with Him. Right, right. He wants His purpose for our lives to be the most important pursuit of our lives. Mm -hmm. He has called us into a passionate living. Mm -hmm. So let's live for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's not be pretenders. Let's be uh, imitators of Christ. Amen. Yes. And serve Him. Romans 12, 11, 1 and 2 again says, Do not be lazy, but always work hard. Work for the Lord with a, a heart full of love for Him. Yes. This is the Word of God. Amen. Romans, uh, that's a New Life translation. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, verse 12 says, Be happy in your hope. Do not give up when troubles come. Do not let anything stop you from praying. Amen. Do not, let, do not let anything stop you from serving Him. Amen. The NIV says this. says, Never be lacking lazy in zeal or passion, but keep your spirit fervent uh, passion serving the Lord. Yes. It says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, in affliction and prayful, faithful in prayer. Amen. That's a mouthful there. <laughs> but still, Serve him with passion. That's that's our message. Is serve him with passion, you know, this new year. And on a daily basis, each and every day. What keeps us going? Us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Us. Stay filled with the word. Fill your spirit, the word of God. Right. Renew your mind with the word of God yes. as often yes. as needed. And the Bible says, crucify the flesh. Because the flesh wants to be lazy. The flesh yes. wants to be comfy. Yes. The flesh doesn't want to do anything no. except just sit and do nothing. Mm -hmm. Do nothing. But you know, if you feed your spirit mm -hmm. and, and you renew your mind, they're going to say, let's, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll put some faith to our, our feet yeah, and start yeah. the movement and going for God. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible word for passion is fervent, which means be hot, be boiling, be glowing for God. Amen. Yes. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Like I said, we ain't going to finish this, but that's okay. We're going to yes. finish 
next week or whenever. Mm -hmm. Fervent also means to be earnest, mm -hmm. to be serious, yes. to be ex listen, to be excited, yes. to be happy, to be thrilled, to be overjoyed. Amen. Amen. Yes. The people yesterday celebrating the New Year, no. there was all these things. Uh -huh. So why not the people of God yes. be excited, be happy, be thrilled, yes. overjoyed? Thank you, Lord, for another beautiful year. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Be enthusiastic. Yes. Be active. Be lively. Be energetic. We can, the Bible says we can do all these things all through Christ. Christ. Amen. So Christ. you say, well, I can do that. You know, you think in flesh. <laughs> Renew your mind with the word and start doing these things. Amen. Sometimes we have to speak the word so that mm -hmm. we can do what the word says right. yes. and get your mind out of the way. Mm -hmm. And physically, we need to get that out of the throne, you know, be yeah. throne yourself and put God on the throne. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> be hot, cold, but not lukewarm. Listen, yeah. listen to this. Be lukewarm, hot. if you never read the definition, lukewarm is just tipping. <laughs> lukewarm is unexcited, <laughs> unenthused, right half-hearted. Okay? <laughs> Warm is not good enough. God says, the word of God says, <laughs> if you're not hot or cold, uh -huh. It says, I'll spew you out. I'll spit you out. I'll vomit you. Whichever one you pick. That's what the Word of God says. Whatever translation you pick. King James says, spew. Mm -hmm. The rest of them says, either vomit or spit. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, I don't want none of them. Well, here it is. Revelation 3.16. King James says, so then because you, thou art lukewarm and neither hot, neither cold nor hot, mm -hmm. I will just spew you out of my mouth. Yeah. The New Living Translation says, But since you are lukewarm water, neither yeah. hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Yeah. We're talking about God talking here. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Revelation 3.16 in the Amplified says this, So because you are lukewarm, mm -hmm. spiritually, spiritual, useless. Oh, oh wow. Spiritual, useless. Oh. And we're talking about Amplified. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going a little deeper here. Mm -hmm. It says, spiritually, you're useless. Yes, you know, you're yes, a child of God. You're defeated. You're not using the word. You're not living for him. You're just useless. Mm -mm -mm. Amen. And neither hot nor cold. I will vomit you out of my mouth. Yes. The my here, M-Y, uh -huh. is capitalized. Oh, boy. He says, I will spew you out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. God talking. Mm -hmm. Says, reject you <laughs> with, says, reject you <laughs> with disgust. No boy. Wow. This is the amplified now. Amen. So if you've never read a different translation, it's not time for you read to read it. Amen. <laughs> so passionate believers are consumed with fulfilling what God has called them to do. Yes. You know what? I'm excited. You know why? Because he chose me. Yeah. You know, if nobody ever told you that, know now, child God, that you are called. You have a call on your life mm -hmm. by God. Yes. He called you, and you know what? If he called you, he's equipped you to fulfill your walk, your right. mission. Yes. Amen? Amen. You've got everything that it takes. You know, the world says you're not qualified. The world says you're no good. The world says all kinds of negative things about you. But God says, I've chosen you. I've anointed you. I've equipped you to fulfill what I've called you to do. So get in the Word and live for God and please yeah. God. You'll never please the world. Uh -huh. The world is always displeased. Amen. And never good enough for the world. Right, right. But we're good enough for God. It was good enough for Him to go die for us. Uh -huh. So we need to be good enough to serve Him and do better. That's Amen. It. Passion is the motivating force that caused their dreams to come true. You know, it's the passion that's going to cause your dreams to come through. Amen. Passion empowers them to overcome fear, doubt, uh -huh. and discouragement. It's the, it's the passion that empowers them. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. You know, when we assemble ourselves together, you've come here to be empowered, mm -hmm. not to be entertained. Yeah, right. That's it. right. Amen. All right, it, 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 if that's all you do when you right. assemble yourselves is it, who's going to play or who's going to do or who's going <laughs> to sing or who, what are you going to do to mm -hmm. keep me entertained today, mm -hmm. then you need to go somewhere else. Yeah. Amen. You come to be encouraged. You come to be empowered. You're a child yeah. of God. Amen. We didn't come here to just uh, be, be pretenders. We come here to be for real. That's it. Because you're going on a mission. And if you don't have God with you, you lose already. Right. If God is with you, you know. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about this. And I don't, I don't know if we'll get to it. But 
And David was on a mission when he went and brought lunch to his brothers. Uh -huh. The father says, hey, little uh, shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he's just a little shepherd. Y'all got another son. He's just a little shepherd boy taking care of our sheep. God saw a king out of the little shepherd. And that's what the world does. He just, they see you as nobody. God sees you as a king, as special. Yes. But David went to bring food to their brothers. And he heard the giant. And you know what? He was ready for the giant. Yes. And we need to be ready for our giants. Yes, yes. What giants do we face? We face uh, a problem giants. Mm -hmm. We face all kinds of giants mm -hmm. every day. Right. Amen. But we need to be just like David, pre uh, prepared. Mm -hmm. And King Saul says, that somebody told him, he says, King Saul, uh, David's here. He says he'll fight the giant for us. <laughs> and so David went before the king, Saul. Mm -hmm. And when King Saul saw him, he says, you're nothing but a child. You're nothing but a youth. You're nobody. Mm. That's what the world says when they see you. Mm -hmm. You're not good enough. For God, you are. For the yeah. world, you're not. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, brother. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. But he said, well, since you, see, you won't uh, uh, allow the giant to kill you. <laughs> 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 since you're dumb enough to go before the giant, uh, go ahead. He said, take my armor with you. Saul was a big man. Yeah. That armor was not, that armor was not good. Or was not fitable or fit. Did not fit David. Amen. It was too big. That's why he's called you and equipped you, not to put, not to copy anybody else or where it, what anybody else says, except what you are. He says no. He says I'm a shepherd, and this is my outfit. This is my uniform. So I'll take what. God has given you. He's, he's got his little uh, slingshot, mm -hmm. and and God is with me. I know who, who I know who's I am, and I know who's following me. I know who's backing me, and God is with me. He saw me through with the lion. He saw me through with the bear. So guess what? God is with me. He never leaves me, nor forsakes me. That's you, child of God. Amen. Whatever may be coming against you, it doesn't matter. Whatever giant is facing you. God is good enough. Yes. He's, he's with me. Mm -hmm. So you know what? When they see, <laughs> when they see you, all they see is, you know, poor little you. He's all but on me. I'm God is with me. Greater is he that's in me than yes. he that is in the world. In the world. Amen. So Amen. let's remember these things. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited. <laughs> Passion keeps you pressing on in spite of how many setbacks. Mm. You know. We, we, we focus on the setbacks. We focus on the lack. We focus on, on the failures. Oh, we don't focus on the pressing on, or on the passion to keep pressing on, regardless of the setbacks. Passion uh, picks them up no matter how many times uh, you've been knocked down. Listen to this, and you can write this down. Many fall. Many, many, many fall. Yes. It's the getting up. Is your choice. Right, right, right. Are you going to get up or are you going to stay down? Yeah. You know, some of us have been down for years. Oh, no, Jesus. And it's time for us to be up. Yes. We're still yeah. down. Mm -hmm. We got to get up. The passion is this. The passion is get up. Amen. Get up and, 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 and press on. Mm -hmm. He didn't say get up and run back. Oh. He didn't say get up. He, says, he didn't say get up and be fearful. He said right. get up. And press on. Yeah. When you're pressing on, you're still you're still fighting. You're still getting on. Yes. You're pressing on with him. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> many of God's people never see their mission because or become reality because they lack passion. They lack zeal and they lack enthusiasm. Yeah. Basically, we lack the word because yes. we don't have the word of God in us. Right. We got to right. get the word of God in us. Yeah. When we have the word. It's going to set us free of all this lack of thinking, Amen. you know? And lack of thinking highly of ourselves yes. instead of thinking uh, poorly of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen? I'll, I'll close with this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we'll have to continue Glory. next week with That's this. Okay. <laughs> Serving him with passion. Amen? Mm -hmm. But passion caused the disciples in the early church to turn their worlds upside down. Yes. Amen? Fulfill their mission. We can do the same. You know, God is no respecter of person. What he did for them, he'll do for us. Yes. But you know what? They were serving him. They were in love with their God. Mm -hmm. And their God was in love with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And we can do all things through Christ. Amen? Amen. <coughs> Listen to this. It, uh, Acts, well, I've got, yeah, I'll, I'll, read, I'll read through this. Acts 17, 6 in the Amplified says, But when they failed, when they failed to find them, they, they dragged Jason and some of the brethren before yeah. the city authorities, crying, These men have turned the world upside down. Upside down. Oh. And they have come here also. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to read it to you from the New Living Translation. 716, uh, 17, 6 says this. Not finding them there, they dragged out Jason and some of the other believers instead. Instead, and took them before the city council. He says, Paul and Silas have caused trouble all over the world. <laughs> they shouted, and now they are disturbing our city. <laughs> See, we believers, mm -hmm. passionate children of God, must disturb our cities of yes. Martha, of Alpine, Fort Davis, Presidio, mm -hmm. Big Ben, yes. and all around the yes. world. Yeah. All around the world. Guess what? There's no limits. <laughs> you limit yourself. Yeah. But we have no limits. no limits. We can go on and preach the word of God wherever we go and disturb them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it overturned their world upside down. Uh -huh. Passion caused Peter and John to defy the religious leaders in their day. Mm -hmm. They were told never to preach in Jesus' name again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Happens today also. Yeah. Don't assemble yourselves together. Oh, Put your masks on. Uh -huh. uh, six feet apart. Oh. This because of COVID. <laughs> And what else is coming? <laughs> yeah. We're in the last days. Yeah. What else is coming where they want us to be uh, a part? Mm -hmm. Maybe one religion, you know. Mm -hmm. Every every other thing is gone, you know. Just one religion. Mm -hmm. So be prepared, passionate child of God. Yeah. Stay battle ready hey. for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. On a daily yeah. on a daily basis. Yes. So we'll stop right there. Praise We're not God. done. Just keep <laughs> pressing on. <laughs> Did you receive something? Yes, I did. Always. Praise God. Thank you, Father. You know what? Hey, before we go, you have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Give you an opportunity to receive yes. Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know? yeah. We're not closing till then, you know. So if you have never made Jesus, hey, this is the first of the year. Mm -hmm. Make this your top priority. Yes. The Lord I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. And Amen. you know what? He's going to receive you. Amen. And you know what we need to do is we need to change and start reading the Word, yes. studying the Word, and pressing Amen. on for the, for Jesus. Amen. Yes. Get into a Bible-based church where He teaches the Word of God. Amen. And you can grow and go for God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And you can, Bible says you can do all things through Christ who yes. strengthens you. Amen. Yes. Praise God. If you have sickness in your body, He. Bible says lay hands on the sick and it shall be come. Yes. So I'm going to lay hands and I'm going to say body be healed in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Amen. According to the word of God. So body line up with the word. Receive yes. your healing now Amen. in Jesus name. Praise God. Amen. 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 So time to give. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Go to our website. NBCBigBen.com Donate button. And if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. And now you can do Cash out at New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. So yeah. God bless you. Happy New Year. And know that God loves you and we love you. Praise God.